JC the official man, now I'm back with another banger, man. Hey, today I got another glitch for y'all. We got a VC glitch, as y'all seen by the title. Shout out to your boy Sam. I'll put his link in the description. But hey, I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. But hey, get this to a thousand views. And hey, we gonna keep grinding. 2K on the way soon. Let's get straight into it. Like the video in the next 10 seconds or be banned for life in NBA 2K21 and you don't want that. Yo, 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 if you guys are looking for a safe and legit way to buy NBA 2K21 accounts or stacked accounts, make sure you guys go check out Sports TMB first link in the description. You guys, it's worth checking out this year, man. Yo, if you need 12 and 0 completed, you need evolve cards or if you want your domination completed or even get cheap mt make sure you hit up r6 credits down below and tell them your boy sam sent you all right so we got a new updated unlimited vc glitch this is going to be the most updated vc glitch working today so this works for xbox and the ps4 so shout out to my boy jj2k for giving me permission to use the video to show you guys this new updated VC glitch. Yo, so what is up guys? It's JJ2K and yes, in today's video, I have you guys with an updated VC glitch. Now this is gonna allow you guys to get a thousand VC per game. Now we're gonna be using our starting character for this VC glitch. If you guys have seen this video, um, it has blew up as of late. This is gonna allow us to use our main character doing this glitch rather than a new player. I'm gonna be explaining everything in today's video. So make sure to watch the whole video through. So with that bro, can we hit 500 likes on today's video? I've been coming up with daily VC glitches and y'all seem to be loving it so that is the easiest way to support me bruh. So if you guys do enjoy the content as well make sure to leave a subscription too. It doesn't hurt but again I'm not gonna ask y'all to do that. Now as long as you guys pay attention and listen to me throughout this whole video there should be no questions. I'm gonna explain this to the best of my ability. So without further ado bruh let's just hop straight into how to do this VC glitch y'all. Okay, so starting this out, there's going to be two things y'all need to know. One, obviously, we're going to be on our main character. 
And then the second part is we're going to need to be on a team that is not going to make the playoffs. Okay, so I recommend the Detroit Pistons. Also with this, in the first step, I did say you guys need to be on your main character. I'm just going to assume your guys' main character is, you know, set up to the point where he's actually in the rotation. So therefore, he would be a starter because this is all going to rely on the fact that we're going to sim through this season. All right. So the reason why we're going to sim through this season is unless this also will vary if you guys are in the second season with a max contract this might be a bit harder for you guys already but for my example on my main character i'm only in the first season so i'm going to be simming to the second season in hopes that i'm going to be offered a 1000 max contract now again worst comes to worst you guys don't get offered a 1000 vc contract but regardless, as you guys are going to see, we need to get put on a team that is not going to make the playoffs. For this example, I'm going to be asked to get traded to the Knicks. Now, the more you guys sim, once your agent does say, yeah, I can trade you, you're going to see on the right-hand side, it does say I'm still on the Lakers, but I am on the Knicks, as you guys see the logo behind my character. So again, like I said, the whole purpose of doing this and going to your second season is you guys are going to get offered a max VC contract. And you're also not going to make the playoffs, so this is going to set everything up perfectly. Now, hopefully... Like I said, your player is a decent overall, so therefore he does get good stats. So he'd be viewed as a good player or a star player, however you guys want to put it. And that's kind of the key purpose in this video. So before, with the other method, we would just sim to the second season on a new character and get off at around 700 VC. But with this, like I said, we're going to be making 9 to 1,000 VC, depending on how good your player actually is. So once this season is almost over, like I said, bro, it's going to be crucial for you guys to get this contract set up. Because if you guys don't do it, there's literally no reason to be on the main character if you guys don't get that um, sorted out. So once this season is over, like I said, we are just going to sim through everything else. Nothing matters. Now, coming into the second season, the team you guys want to sign with is going to be another crappy team. Um, I would recommend the Pistons because honestly, on this new character, everyone in the NBA is going to offer you guys a max contract, or at least they should. If they don't, just try to go to the crappiest team with the, um, the chances that they don't make the playoffs. And worst comes the worst, just ask to get traded to a crappier team in the second season. Now, with this, like I said, once this is all simmed through, we are going to try to go to the crappiest team. So obviously, like I said, once this does sim through, we are going to enter into free agency and then go from there. Please don't re-sign your contract and go back to the same team. Do not do that. And also, while we're talking about that, you guys are going to want to try to barter for as low minutes as possible. They're going to offer you guys 38 minutes a game. And that is the exact opposite of what we actually want to accomplish in this video. We're going to try to get the most VC possible with the smallest amount of minutes you guys can possibly ask for. Now, in my clip, I couldn't get down below anything past 38 minutes because my player was a goat but i also didn't try i've seen before you guys can probably get down to about 23 minutes or something like that but regardless though whatever team you guys do choose to go to make sure you go to a crappy team i accidentally set up for the lakers for some reason recording this i have no clue why i did that but regardless you guys are going to see you're going to get offered a thousand vc a game four years and 38 minutes i did the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do you guys need to ask for the most vc possible lower your minutes down and lower everything else down that is the whole goal in doing this okay so now you guys are going to want to play your very first game on this character now again we're gonna have like at least 30 minutes played so this is going to be quite difficult so what i suggest you guys doing is play the worst game possible okay you guys are not going to need to play that much of the game but what we are going to do we are going to collect an f grade getting an f grade is very crucial now if you guys know how to do this from previous methods everything from here on out is going to be virtually the same we're going to get an f grade a decent amount of turnovers and just play as bad as we possibly can and once we acquire the f grade we are just going to foul out of the game now the main purpose to do this now obviously we're going to have a bunch of minutes so this is going to take a little bit longer than it normally does but it's going to be well worth it because we're going to earn about 250 vc per game which is going to be way more than we did before tallying it at about 780 vc a game we're going to be earning at about a thousand doing this method once we do eventually get our minutes down i think it takes four to five games this time where before it took two to three so regardless though we're gonna play these first couple of games and then we're gonna view our minutes after each game just to see if our minutes have went down at all so it's gonna be the same exact process for a couple games until we lower our minutes down to five now you guys are just gonna like i said collect an f grade play as bad as possible and then once you guys get that f grade with a decent amount of turnovers we are just going to foul out 
Now, I'm not really going to explain that much into the second game, but it is literally the same concept. Just play your first couple of games of the season. Do not sim at all, because listen, if you guys sim through your games, you're going to collect stats, and that is the exact opposite of what we're going to want to do in this process. So just know that once you guys start simming games, your player, since he is very good, he's going to start getting actual stats that is just not going to help the process in doing this. So once your third or fourth game is over after doing this, assuming it takes about three to four games, it might even take five because you guys have 38 minutes we are going to go into the stats category from the stats category we're going to go down to our minutes and then we're going to see where our minutes are at so in this example we are down to five minutes so that is exactly what we're going to want to do now once we are down to five minutes the next thing we're going to want to do is put our difficulty on hall of fame and five minute quarters so like i said once we have our five minutes down we're going to hop into the next game and i'm just going to demonstrate what you guys are going to want to do for the very next game assuming we have five minutes in our rotation so it's not even going to take five minutes of your time it's going to take about two to three now we're going to want to grab some fouls very early now again with this method since we put them on hall of fame we are not going to want to do good at all do not get it twisted if you guys do very good you're going to get your minutes bumped so we're going to stay around like anywhere from an f to a c grade um if you guys want more bc you know we could stay at a c grade but again we